Hello. Good day. Thanks for joining me in this session. In this video's tutorials, I'm going to take you through how you'll be able to activate your institutional email address. Now, you've been given a guide to complement this video. So you read your guide and then you can also listen or watch this video to help you activate your institutional email. Now, one thing you should know is that this email address is going to help you throughout your stay in Ola so far as e-learning is concerned and all other communications concerning your academics are concerned. So please pay attention and then after watching the video, if you have any questions or anything that you, you, you don't understand, you can visit their guide for further details or you can post your questions on your platform so that we will address them. So this video was put together by the Ola ICT unit. Right. So let's get started. First, I would want you to know that your institutional email is generating using the following format. I'm going to demonstrate for you to see. Now, for instance, you are called Mary Williams. This is your name. And so how do you come by your institutional email address? So your institutional email address is generated using the first letter of your first name in addition to your last name. So for this example, Mary Williams will have an email that will follow like this. M Williams. So that is the username at stu the stu here is just representing that you are a student at Ola College of Education dot edu dot gh. So Ola College of Education dot edu dot gh that is the school's website address, and so that becomes the domain name. So this will be your email address. Let me give another example so that others will also appreciate how their email or institutional email address is generated. So let's assume that you are called um, Anita Amma for me. So this is your name. And again, I must say that your institutional email is generated using the first letter of your first name and then your last name. So in this example, Anita is the first name. The last name is Ofori. And so this is how the email address look like so the first letter of the first name is a combined with the last name which is Ofori. so a Ofori. then it will be followed by the at sign stu dot ola college of education dot edu dot gh right so that will be your institutional email address. For your password or the default password for every student is her index or what you call the registration number. So for instance, your registration number is OEC slash followed by your program code. Is that okay? So if I edit childhood education, that will be ACE slash the year of admission if it's 2019 19 followed by the number maybe you were the first person so 0001 
And so that becomes your password. For instance, if you are education or DHS education student, so this will be your password. The program DHS. Maybe you are admitted in 2020, so 20, followed by the number, maybe you are number 30. So that's that's your password. So basically, this is the basic information that you will need to be able to assess your institutional email. And so from here, I'm going to take you through a practical example how you can use this information to assess your institutional email. Stay tuned. So this is how you can log in to activate your institutional email address. Having been known or having been made known to you how your email address is generated. So if you are using a mobile phone or a tablet or a computer, you have to open your browser. And I hope you know what a browser is. So an example of a browser is what you see on my screen. This is a Mozilla Firefox. You can have the Google Chrome, Safari, Opera Mini, Internet Explorer, and a host of others. So whichever internet, whichever browser you have on your device, make sure you have internet and then you can launch or open the browser. Now, when you open the browser, locate the address bar or where your URL is indicated. Now, because your institutional email is just like you are accessing a Gmail account, it's very easy to go about it. So what you do is that you type gmail.com. So immediately type gmail.com. Brings you here. Gmail.com, it brings you here. So you see that sign in. Ordinarily you type your personal gmail account address here but no this time around you want to activate your institutional email so you type your institutional email so i'm going to use the example that i showed in the slide so mary william so it's m william at two dot la college education dot edu dot gh so this is my email so i click next now it will ask me of my password so my password is my index number or the registration number so that will be your own index number or your own registration number which is personal to you and it's unique to every student so I'm going to type my and then move next. Right. So this is a welcome screen that you see. Say welcome to your new account. M Williams at studio. Your account is compatible with many Google services, but you are administrator will decide which services. So these are all things that you can read. But the most important thing is that once you get to the screen, you just click on accept. And here is the most important thing. When you click on accept, it will ask you to change your password because probably your colleague knows your index number and so you can use that one to access your email at any time and because you want your account to be very safe we want to now set a new password so you have to enter a new password now the new password should be eight character 
minimum, eight character minimum, but it can be more than eight character. And because of security reasons, make sure that you combine both text, numbers, and symbols so that it become very strong. But make sure that there are minimum eight characters, you know, it can be more than that. All right, so I'm going to type my. But because it's a password, you wouldn't see it because it's a secret to you. Nobody knows it. So that is why when I type, you don't see it. And that's what I expect you to also do. So once I'm done, I can click on change password. Voila. So my password has been changed. Now, here's an important thing for you to be able to risk maybe when you forget your password you should be able to reset your own password and all that it's important to update this information your recovery phone number and recovery email address so you can click on updates and then you provide your phone number make sure that the phone number that you're providing is active so mine is zero five zero two two eight eight seven eight seven save next now it's going to send me a code so that i can activate right, so i've just received my code it's instant so this is my code I'll just enter is seven seven nine eight eight and I'll click next seven seven yes I am I left one number so that is it great so I'm done so ask me a recovery email address so that should be my personal email address so I'll type my personal email address in this case your own personal email address if you have a gmail account already that's a personal email address you can post it there all right so now say next all right so say success I'm done so now I can click done. Once I wait for it to load, you shouldn't be seeing the screen. You shouldn't be seeing it to take you straight to your. Yes, so you see that Our Lady of Apostle College of Education. So while I'm in my inbox now, so your institutional email address has been activated. Now. Google will take you through a series of screen splash just to alert you where to find what. So make sure you go through them and take your time and go through them. So there's a chat where you can chat with your colleagues as well as your tutors. And there's a chat room. Your tutor can add you to a chat room or your colleagues can have you add you to a chat room where you can have your group discussion or study discussion. They are all there for you. And then there's a Meet, which is a video conferencing application within your Gmail account. We can use to have a live video conversation with your colleagues or your tutor. All right, so all these features are available for you. So that is it. So thank you for paying attention. You can now click here to sign out your account or you can maintain it if it's your phone yeah in the next video i'll take you through how you can add this institutional email account to your phone that is your gmail app on your phone if you have your personal email already you can add that one to it so that to be complete thank you for listening see you in the next video